what is going on everybody this is 86 back with another video and today i'm going to talk about all the teasers about the new expansion and uh league that have been revealed um i'm going to start off with B biju i think that's how that's pronounced hopefully i got that right uh this is a divination card which was created by a community member uh which gives you a level 84 cluster jewel um in my opinion, it's a really great definition card, seeing as how level 84 cluster jewels can be a real pain in the ass to come by. And having a north, another source to be able to get those um, divination cards is really great. Um, another question is, where will this drop from? Um, and my guess, as well as a lot of other people's speculation, is it will probably be um, the Delirium um, Encounter, which is called Simulacrum. Um, that's why I'm guessing these will be dropping. But um, hopefully they won't be extremely rare, so you can still have a nice chance of getting some good level 84 cluster jewels. Um, really great card. Glad it's been added to the game. Happy to see it. Um, so that was the first uh, teaser that they gave us, and I'm really excited for that. Um, and then another one is uh, Justified Ambition, which is a synthesis map. Everything I have done has been for Ray Class. You would pledge your life to me if you saw things my way, and soon you will. I Templar Venarius. So this one is really cool as well. I'm trying to think of like a synthesis maps. Are those all like the um, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, off the top of my head, um, maps are uh see, what, what can we possibly get from these okay so alter distant memory augmented distant memory cortex probably not the replica and so any of these ones you can get from there which i know these maps are pretty sought off or sought after that's where you get divination distill it right or that one flask i can't remember what it's called um but yeah you get that flask from there you get some good items it's a uh, Really good definition, divination card should help with um, a synthesis map acquisition as well. So that's good. Another great card to be added. Um, now see, we have an in-game unique added. And this is a jewel, melding of the flesh, cobalt jewel. Um, has a very huge penalty, which is minus seventy-six to all elemental resistances, which is a huge penalty. And the upside is elemental resistances are limited by your highest maximum elemental resistance instead. So that means you could just focus on one getting one super maxed out all the way up and the rest of yours will follow. Which is great for just having to not focus on getting all max reses the same one. So you can like um really great, really great for beefing those um resistances um the downside um is quite a huge penalty i mean it's gonna take quite a bit to overcome that the only classes i could see doing that fairly easily are probably chieftain because they get a lot of fire res already um but other than that this is definitely a well-balanced gym it gives you a very very large amount of power um be able to get all your reses to like 90 i think is like the max um, that you can possibly get them to i'm not exactly sure um is huge i mean that's a huge amount of defenses but um like i said the minus 76 is a huge thing to overcome this is a great jewel um really glad to see this in the game um will help for those builds that really need to get their all their reses to max and have as much elemental defense as possible this should be great um, as long as you can overcome the minus 76 elemental res. Uh, and the season as says the match stash has been dedicated to sub tab for your elder gauntlet shaper and conquer mat. So that's really good. Just a nice little sub tab in there. That's just an addition that they're adding. So that's really cool. Great addition. Always quality life is nice. And finding those maps can be a real pain in the ass in your map tab anyways. All right, before we get this going, so this is a Siege of the At Atlas um, name reveal. Let's go ahead and check this out together. Got some nice spooky little um, statue here. That reminds me of Deary anyway. 
with all the arms. But I've also heard somebody else um, in the comments say that that was um, the betrayal. Um, um, what's the... But that is um very um reminiscent of the betrayal um the leader of the betrayal i can't i can't think of her name at the, at the top of the head but um i think that's um kind of reminiscent of kulamax helmet i believe but um yeah so the the next league is going to be called arch nemesis um which there already was a league called nemesis so this is the first time you're ever hearing uh, the same word in a league title so this has me wondering if it's either going to be an extension of Nemesis League itself, like a, uh, they're just going to remove Nemesis, and this is going to be like a souped-up version of Nemesis, or is this more or less like actually a you dealing with your Arch Nemesis? Um, we'll have to see how this plays out. It's definitely a very interesting um, name title for the next upcoming league. Um, Nemesis was a huge league in the fact that it introduced Headhunter, um, which we'll see if they can possibly top that or compare to that in this league. I really don't think that they will ever uh, be able to surpass Headhunter in its value and its uh, iconic status in the game. But maybe this league will bring something along that that um that type of uh, uh, legendary item, you know, where it's just so well known throughout even you know. The, just the RPG genre. Other people know who Headhunter is, you know, who might not even play this game or whatever. It's just a very iconic item. Um, but overall, the Nemesis League itself was just rare packs and rare mods on them, uh, on monsters. I mean, I added extra packs to your maps and everything. I'll have to see what, exactly what this does entail. Um, like those are monsters around. It kind of looks like a Delve type scenario. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I kind of really want to know what people think about this um, arch nemesis and what it could be. If it could be a, 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 just a rehashing of the Nemesis League or is this going to be something completely different? Uh, wording and, and phrases and names that they use in leagues are very important, I think. I think that they do stuff like this intentionally. So we'll have to wait and see. It's definitely got me very excited. Um, cause it, it's just, uh, it could be anything at this point. They could just be kind of messing with us, throwing the nemesis in there. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And let's see what we got here. Crystallized Omnis Omniscience Onyx Amulet. So this is the latest, um, reveal that they have done. So we have an amulet, a unique amulet. Uh, modifiers to attributes and split and apply to Omniscience. Plus one to all elementaries per 10 on this. But per 10 on the requirements can be satisfied by 23%. So this completely replaces your attributes with omniscient science. And then you get plus one to all elementary per omniscience. Penetrate per 10. Okay, this seems like it could be really cool. So attribute requirements can be satisfied with 23 of Omniscience. So this just completely replaces all your attributes with Omniscience, and then you can just stack that, and it'll give you these bonuses. Seems really cool. That is Celestial Realm's part in Iridescent, Bequeathing Enlightenment to the Beholder. Huh. Very, very cool item. Um, Something that's definitely... Not like anything we've seen before, where it actually replaces your attributes with something else that you can scale and get bonuses off of. Very cool item. We'll have to see how that comes into play. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this item. What you think it might be good for. What builds. I mean, could this be good for... Well, because if it replaces your attributes, then you'll no longer have strength at all. I'm guessing. Very interesting item. 
Very, very interesting. Well, so we know that Siege of the Atlas is Lee will be Arch Nemesis. We have a cool, a few cool div card reviews. Very nice div cards to be added to the game. Uh, a couple cool uniques. Um, hopefully, there are going to be a lot of cool uniques for this league. I'm really excited for some cool stuff. Um, my main thing that I'm waiting for is new skills. I'm really hoping there's some new skills. I want some new minions. I really want new minions. Um, the last few minions that they came out with, I really just did not like. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, Absolution was absolutely terrible. Um, I still don't understand why they... If you guys see this video, GGG, please add to Absolution that it needs to spawn on hitting a rare unique enemy. I think it's only on, like, rares or something, or uniques. That shit sucks. It makes the skill trash. You guys need to fix it. Um, let me know what you guys think about all the uh, reveals. I think this next league is going to be a lot of fun. Um, we only have five days until the reveal. February 27th, or, or January 27th is the live reveal. Uh, be sure to check that out. I'm definitely going to be. Uh, February 4th is when the league launches. So that's also very exciting. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the new league? Um, are you guys going to be playing on League Start? Uh, let me know all that in the comments down below. Hopefully everybody has a great day. And I'll keep you guys updated with any new Path of Exile news. This is 86th, and I'm out. Peace.